The other night while letting my dog out, I looked up into the sky and saw some strange moving lights. Immediately, I knew it wasn't a plane or a helicopter, but I couldn't figure out what it was. I thought it was a UFO, but as soon as they disappeared, I ran into my house to look up what it could be, and it was just Elon Musk's Starlink satellite. But it really got me thinking. Earth is just a big floating ball in the middle of nowhere with other big floating balls. Doesn't that make you wonder what is the point of our existence? Why were we put here? And who else is out there? Aliens exist because of how big our universe is, the many categories that an alien falls under, and the amount of research that goes into proving their existence. Let's start with the odds. There are a trillion planets just in our galaxy and billions of galaxies in the universe. Within those galaxies, around a trillion of them are Earth-like. So there's a significant amount of room and space for other life out there. If there's no life on any of those planets, then Earth is an absolute miracle. The Kepler satellite has been a huge game changer. Kepler can tell us which stars have planets on them and which of those planets are Earth-like. In 2011, Kepler collected data on our galaxy, the Milky Way, and concluded that a billion stars just in the Milky Way are Earth-like. SETI is the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. SETI has always faced the challenge of figuring out where to look, which stars do you point your telescope at and look for signals. Now we know where to look, says Adam Frank in a 2020 article from the University of Rochester. Radio technology is becoming more and more advanced. That leads me to the question, what is an alien? They're probably not little green guys running around, but they could be. When we do come in contact with aliens, it will most likely be in the form of bacteria. Bacteria is the most common living thing on Earth. They're small and they can survive in many different environments. So when scientists are searching for aliens, they're most likely looking for bacteria. Alien expert Darren Campo states in a 2014 article from Popular Mechanics that when we consider that 95% of the universe is not perceptible by our senses or technology, then it's most likely that's where the aliens are. So one might say most aliens don't look like anything because they are invisible. So aliens could literally be watching us all the time and we would have no idea. Alien life could be so different from life on Earth because we might not even recognize them or see them. But researchers are putting in a lot of time, energy, and money into proving their existence. The research. In 1974, a message was sent into space from a telescope in Puerto Rico called Arecibo. This message provided a basic mathematical and scientific overview of life on Earth. It was simple and it only took three minutes to send and probably cost millions of dollars. Arecibo is extremely important and unfortunately suffered some damage from hurricanes over the past years. So, U.S. Congress supplied Arecibo with a $12.3 million grant to repair its damages. That's a huge chunk of money just to, for something that's designed to look for aliens, but it doesn't end there. The U.S. House of Representatives has proposed a bill that includes $10 million in NASA funding for the next two years, states Gianna Briner in a 2018 article for Life Science. That's just a portion of the money spent into looking for aliens. Aliens exist because of how big our universe is, the many categories that an alien falls under, and the research that goes into it. Space is gigantic, and we are just one of billions of planets out there. That alone should convince anybody that aliens do exist. We may not be able to see them or hear them, but they're out there.